In this lecture, we will introduce probability mass functions and some rule. Let us A to A1 to AN be a set of mutually exclusive events such that sigma of i equal to 1 to n P of AI is equal to 1. So what does this mean? If we have a coin, again, let us take the coin example, a coin can land heads or tails. So the event that the coin lands heads versus the event where the coin lands tails. These two events are now called mutually exclusive events because one event does not include any outcome from the other event. So that's why they are mutually exclusive. So if you have a sample space and you construct all the set of all possible mutually exclusive events, then they have to sum to 1 because remember P of true is equal to 1. P of your event being from the sample space. If you have considered all possible events in the sample space, then they have to add up to 1. Uh, in the coin example again, if you have P of A equal to heads, P of A equal to tails, separately, both events, and then both of these have to add up to 1 because a coin can either land a head or a tail. So whenever it has not landed heads, it has landed tails, so it has gone to the other event. So what is the combined probability of this together? It has to be 1. So this is also called a probability mass function. The probability of mutual exclusiveness, that is really important and we'll use that in several points in the course, so it's helpful for you to remember. From that, the sum rule follows. So sum rule is used to prove that P of A is equal to 1 minus P of not A where A and not A here, if you think about it, are mutually exclusive events. If A occurs, not A does not occur, right? So if from just the definition of how A and not A are supposed to be, they are mutually exclusive. And then we also have another rule here, P of A is equal to P of A and B. and plus p of a and not b right so now we are introducing another event b so we want to calculate p of a and for that we are using another event b so we are saying that if so b and not b are mutually exclusive, right? So just like A and not A, right? So any event and not of that event are mutually exclusive. So here B, if A and B is this area where both A and B occur, and A and not B is this area where a occurs and not B occurs. 